Welcome to the Desert Shave Den, and welcome to week 3 of October the Witching Month. For today's shave, we'll be shaving with Southern Witchcraft's Labyrinth Soap. Let's get started. Hello and welcome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and interest. So yeah, I hope your October is going well. We're now in the middle of October. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to this shave. Um, as you can see here, I've got some of the labyrinth soap uh, spread around my fine accoutrements lather bowl. I'm gonna soak up my badger hair brush and whip up a lather. Uh, you know, so this is the third week of the witching month. Um, so far, they've all been great shaves. Um, labyrinth, you know, uh, you know, is no different than uh, the, in terms of performance than any of the other Southern Witchcrafts, which have a great vegan base. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that um, I started this month off with the Deserology Barbershop scent from Southern Witchcrafts, and then last week I used, um, oh, what was it? I'm already forgetting. Oh, Gerontia, and that's really uh, a great scent. Um, Labyrinth is, is a little unique. I would say it's actually one of their more approachable scents. Um, it's got a very clean, I almost want to say light, which is, you know, that might be a little risky when we're talking about Southern Witchcrafts, because they're very much in your face, they're different, they're unique, um, but, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't call it a cologne scent, but, um, it's, it's just a really nice fragrance. Um, I can go over this, uh, scent notes here in just a second. Um, what I will say is, um, uh, it's good to know that uh, Southern Witchcrafts can withstand a lot of water. Um, I actually think as I whipped up this lather, and I'm lathering up here, I actually think I drowned it a little bit, or, or at least I overhydrated it. Um, you know, I usually, like most people, we want to go for like a rich, creamy, maybe kind of yogurty texture with a little bit of sheen. Um, this is certainly a good lather, but I think I went beyond the realm of lather and a little bit, just a touch, into the realm of suds, as I like to call it. You know, we don't like to uh, shave with, with, you know, bubble bath suds on our face. We want a nice uh, lather that can provide cushion and will, you know, stand up the hairs for a close shave and that sort of thing. Um, but, you know, as I do the first, uh, you know, the first few strokes with the grain, um, the lather still feels good. I wouldn't hydrate it to this level uh, very often, and I try honestly I try to avoid it altogether in the future. Um, but it is good to know that there is some flexibility with this Southern Witchcraft soap base, such that even if you you know have a your your brush is just a little too soaking wet, that you can still whip up a good lather, a good usable lather, and uh, you know should still provide good protection. Now I don't have the full background of Labyrinth as a scent from Southern Witchcrafts, but uh, their website provides the following information. They say, after years of development, Labyrinth has finally arrived. A customer initially approached us on behalf of a shaving group to make a scent called Labyrinth that smelled of wet stone. So I guess it's uh, based you know, on the idea of wet stone. That's maybe one of the areas Southern Witchcrafts hasn't touched on yet with their various scents. Uh, it continues, but the project fell through and was never realized, or never released, excuse me. In 2021, with several more years of experience behind us, we decided to resume development on the fragrance. Labyrinth is a bold and powerful scent that evokes the terrifying imagery of being pursued through the dark depths by the monstrous Minotaur. It is a musky and spicy blend unlike anything we at Southern Witchcrafts have ever, ever undertaken. We are very proud to finally be able to offer Labyrinth, and we know you are going to love it. And I agree with that. It's, uh, you know, they say musky and spicy, but it's it's just very pleasant. It's a beautiful scent. Um, the notes they list on their website are myrrh, musk, ambergris, lavender, vanilla, sandalwood, ginger, bitter citrus, and wet stone. Whatever wet stone smells like. Um, but really just a great scent. Um, and I, you know, if you want to get into Southern Witchcrafts but aren't ready to dive in headfirst with, like, Autumn Ash or something like that, uh, give Labyrinth a try. I really think there's, there's a low likelihood you will not like it. Um, so after the first pass here, um, skin is feeling good. Um, I'm just gonna do a second pass, and, uh, we'll see where we are, where we are after that. 
Since I've been doing the traditional um, three-pass shave with the grain, across the grain, and against the grain, I've actually found that I'm basically in solid darn fine shave territory after the first two passes, um, which is probably how it's supposed to be. And then it's just, you know, if I want to do that third pass and go for BBS. Um, but first pass done, um, you know, probably I'm already socially acceptable, but of course I'm going to do at least one more. And, uh, you know, if you've watched my videos for any time, you know that I, I tend to chase BBS. But, you know, with this soap, it's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Very low risk of hurting yourself, nicking yourself, I should say. Um, but, yeah, it's just really great soap, and the shave is going well. As I do this uh, across the grain pass, um, everything's just really smooth. I'm getting good audible feedback when I am hitting whiskers, especially on my cheek and definitely under my chin. A lot of good feedback, but um, just getting really good glide from uh, from this soap. And again, even if it's, I believe I overhydrated this lather, um, but even then, getting good glide. Haven't noticed any nicks yet, so I think. Uh, I think I'm in good shape. I may have not mentioned it earlier, but for this shave I am using, well as a pre-shave, I'm always, these days I'm only, always just using Paraso Green, so I had that on there. That always puts me in good position for a good shave. And for the razor, I've got my classic Occur 34C loaded up with a Voshkot blade. Um, that particular combo, I mean really anything with a 34C, but especially with the Voshkot blade, I'm uh, finding that it's just really hard to screw up a shave with that combo. Um, and doing three passes, uh, at least that's generally my plan going into a shave, it's, it's really hard to screw up. Um, you're going to get an, certainly enough efficiency out of that uh, razor uh, when you're doing three passes. And so after this rinse, um, yeah, my, my, my cheeks and everything are feeling really good. I think I'm just going to go for uh, one more third pass to go against the grain, try to go for BBS. My mustache area is done, like I'm not even gonna, there's no, no not even a need for touch up. Um, so uh, just uh, let's see if we can do one final pass on the cheeks and jaw area and uh, let's bring this baby home. And perhaps you can see, but um, when I shave against the grain on my cheeks, I sometimes inflate them just to really force out uh, some of those whiskers and get it ultra close. Um, do you do anything, something similar? I know, I know a lot of, uh, especially when you're going from cartridge shaving to wet shaving, um, it's, it's a bit of a learning process to know how you have to contort your face to ensure good contact between the blade and the skin good contact so that you can actually effectively shave the skin and get a smooth shave, but also in such a way where you're not nicking yourself. So I just thought I'd point that out. Now I will get a head start. I know at the end of my videos I, uh, you know, apply the aftershave and, uh, uh, you know, sign off. So sometimes, uh, you know, the aftershave, that's probably my favorite part of any given shave. And it's, it's I don't always give myself enough time on screen to talk about it, but, um, uh, for today's shave, I actually decided to just go and finish off my sample of Barrister and Mann's uh, Spice, which is their take on just vintage Old Spice. Um, uh, I've heard really good things about it, so I got a sample of it. Uh, I actually took it on a recent trip for a baby shower, and the sample size was perfect for travel. Um, and now I'm finishing it off here. 
the notes that they include on Barrister Man's website. Um, I mean, if you've had vintage, old, just original Old Spice, you know what it is, but they describe it as um, featuring notes of carnation, nutmeg, vanilla, and tonka bean. Um, and it's just really awesome. I think it's good for cold weather because it's got that spicier vibe, but honestly, it's a classic aftershave. You, it's a year-round scent. I, I think there's a good chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get a full size of this. I'm just being honest. Um, it's not even a seasonal thing. Uh, and Barrister and Man, the ingredients of the aftershave splash are just, they have that good skin food. So I, I feel, and, and the scent strength is really good. So I think I would like this even more than an actual bottle of Old Spice. Uh, but I have been tempted to find one of those glass, glass bottles of Old Spice. Um, but yeah, really great aftershave. You literally can't screw up uh, ending a shave with Barrister and Man Spice or, or an Old Spice type scent. It's just really classic. So that's the shave. Um, Labyrinth is really great. Um, the base, I don't have to say anything more. Great base, great shave, no nicks. Um, aftershave, everything's smelling good. Skin is feeling good. Thank you for your time and watching. I appreciate your interest in my channel. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video for more content like this. This is Joseph with the Desert Shave Den and have a nice day.